Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to try to install OpenWRT in VirtualBox. Um, OpenWRT is a, um, a Linux operating system that uh, targets embedded devices. Um, usually you will find it in, the, in routers, wireless routers. And so I'm going to go over the process of how to um, download uh, the image and uh, install it as a virtual uh, as a virtual machine so you can play around with it in your virtual environment so let's get started um, they have a page here which is uh, run up in WRT as a virtual box uh, virtual machine and they have a few uh, images that you can download so I'm going to download this one which is the first one going to look for my OpenWRT image and next I'm going to gzip it and uh, next they have uh, a command here in order to convert the IMG uh, file into VDI so I'm going to copy it from here I do have VirtualBox um, manage which is the command added into my user environment variables so I can execute the command from anywhere. And I believe the name of the image is combine extension four. So I need to change the, there we go. So I'm going to press enter. And if all goes well, I should be uh, having a .vdi file. There we go, there's this one here. Is the second one. So I'm going to copy, uh, well actually I'm going to leave it there, but it is advisable at this point that you copy it into, into your VirtualBox uh, inst installation directory, not installation directory, into your VirtualBox uh, machines directory. So I'm going to move it from here into my home directory okay so the next step is to go into VirtualBox manager and create a new machine and uh, I am going to select Linux and uh, for the version since I'm not sure what flavor of Linux is it, it is I don't know if it's Debian if it's Ubuntu uh, just to be safe, I'm going to say other Linux 64, and then I'm going to name it OpenWRT uh, Router and uh, click Next. I'm going to leave it as 512, click Next. And here, for the hard drive, for the hard disk, I'm going to select Use an Existing Hard Disk File, and I'm going to point to the uh, VDI file that I just extracted then I'm going to click create next I'm going to boot the machine and if everything goes well we should be booting into WRT but we're not done yet uh, I believe that there are a, a little bit of configuration that needs to be done For example, um, if we go into machine and then we go into settings and click on network, by default, um, it is set to boot into the NAT network. So I'm going to put it into the bridge adapter. That way, um, it is in my uh, it is booting into my network, the physical network, as I am uh, as I need to install. Uh, Lucy, which is the um, the package that creates the web interface in order to manage uh, the wireless router. Okay, so uh, but also also um, it doesn't contain a uh, a password, so you can uh, it it will directly log you into the root account. So if you want to change the password, 
um, you might want to do uh, PAS, WD, and then root and provide your username and, and provide your password so your, um, your box is not uh, open like that. Another thing that you might want to do is to, I'm not sure if I'll be able to zoom in into Another thing that, um, that you might want to do is that, for example, if you do IF config, and there is a file called, I believe is uh, etc config network. And uh, here in this file is where you enter your network configuration settings. Um, notice that, um, it is the IP address is 192.168.1.1. And um, you might want to change that to reflect the um, your physical network or whatever uh, virtual network you decide to place the machine, to place the uh, op uh, open WRT uh, computer, virtual box, I'm sorry. And um, for example, if you do a ping uh, to google.com, you realize that uh, we're not going to get a ping from uh, from Google. So we need to configure um, the DNS for this uh, virtual box. So I'm going to go into VI, and I'm going to open the network file. And I want to change the IP address to three. Yeah. And I'm going to leave the neck mask the same. And uh, we need to add a couple more uh, settings here. And notice that uh, we don't have a gateway. So for example, if I uh, do a route, if I use the route command, notice that I don't have a gateway set for my for my machine. So it doesn't know where the gateway is. So in order to reach a computer or a host that is not inside the local network, um, it won't be able to do it. So that's the next thing that we need to provide. So I'm going to say option, um, gateway, and then I'm going to say 192.168.1.1. And uh, DNS, 8.8.8.8, which is the Google DNS server, escape, save the file, quit, and uh, let's try to ping Google again. Okay, so maybe we need to restart the service. So I'm going to say service, network, restart. Okay, so this time it works. So we have communication. We have successfully configured the um, uh, the virtual uh, box to be in our network, and uh, we have communication. So the next step uh, is to install uh, Lucy, which is the uh, the web server that provides the uh, remote managed interface to configure the the, the, the Open WIT over the web. So I'm going to say um, OPKG, which is the package manager for OpenWRT. Update, press enter. If we would have tried to do an update from the beginning, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't have worked because we wouldn't have proper communication with the internet. So now um, we are ready to install Lucy. So I'm going to say Lucy, uh, install Lucy, press enter.
and I'm going to let it finish. Okay, so I finished. Let's go ahead. And um, I believe the IP address that I gave was... So if, anyway, if we now do route. Notice that we have a gateway here. And uh, in order to display the, uh, the uh, network configuration, it is inside HC config network. And uh, my IP address is 192.168.1.3. I'm going to open that in the browser. Press enter. And uh, I believe it doesn't have a password, so I'm going to say login, and I'm in. And so from now on, that's it. That's uh, uh, you can go ahead and configure the and uh, the open WRT um, router using your uh, your web interface.